Today, the Port Huron Police Department honored one of its own, a police officer who was killed 87 years ago today. The honor guard raised money to replace Detective Sergeant Roy Shamblow's headstone. Today, in front of his great grandchildren, the fallen officer was remembered at a special ceremony. Here's Priya Mann. Today, we celebrate one of our own who gave his life protecting the citizens of Port Huron. The Port Huron Police Department has lost one officer in its 136 year history. Detective Sergeant Roy Chamblot was killed on this day 87 years ago. We had an officer that gave that ultimate sacrifice and didn't come home to his family. It's important we recognize that, we memorialize it, and uh, we let the family know that we also recognize the sacrifice that he gave. The 42-year-old man was killed while transporting two armed robbery suspects to jail. Chamblot was driving. His partner was beside him. The two suspects were in the back. One of the men had hidden a gun under his clothing. He pulled out the weapon and shot Chamblot three times in the back. The Port Huron Police Honor Guard raised the money to replace his headstone at Lakeside Cemetery. It means a great deal to me and to the family. Port Huron Police really took it upon themselves to remember uh, with a great deal of dignity what this man did for his community and the way in which he died. It's a beautiful marker that represents this, the sacrifice and the dedication that Detective uh, Sergeant Chamblow had for our agency and for the citizen support you're on. After shooting Chamblow and injuring his partner, the two suspects jumped out of the car and took off. They were quickly arrested and sentenced to life in prison. Chamblow had been an officer for four years when he was killed. Rest in peace, Detective Sh Sergeant Chamblow. We've got it from here, sir. Reporting from Port Huron, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, Priya. Justice, by the way, was served swiftly in this case. Within 24 hours of killing Shamblow, both suspects were given those life sentences Priya mentioned of solitary confinement and hard labor at Jackson Prison.